Good evening, I'm Rob Quirk. First at 6, our continuing coverage this week, America remembers 20 years since the 9-11 attacks. Where were you on September 11th, 2001? And for those of us thousands of miles away from New York and Washington, it was the images on TV that stand out, at least for me, and first come to mind. But what about those who were directly targeted by the attacks that day? Tonight, and only on News 5, an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Army Four-Star General James Dickinson, who currently heads U.S. Space Command in Colorado Springs, who is working in the Pentagon on 9-11. General Dickinson was a lieutenant colonel assigned to the National Military Command Center in the Pentagon at the time, supporting the Defense Secretary and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, among others. You can't get any closer to the power base of this nation when we're attacked. Turned the TV on, and I saw what had happened. I saw the, the plane strike the, the tower in uh, New York City and I thought to myself what am I doing sitting here at home? So got myself into my uniform, uh, jumped in my car. Understandably chaos inside and outside the Pentagon. A drive that normally took him a half hour took hours to get back to his post which was on the opposite side of the Pentagon from where the aircraft hit the building causing extensive smoke, fire and structural damage not to mention the loss of life. As I went into the building, uh, totally different than what I'd ever seen before. Where the aircraft hit the, struck the Pentagon, uh, it, was, it was very much like what we saw up in New York City. In other words, uh, people running to the incident rather than running away from the incident. As horrific an attack as it was, 184 people ultimately died at the Pentagon, including friends of General Dickinson, he later learned, he had a job to do, a job he and so many others were trained to do, make sure the epicenter of national and international communication was functioning so our national level leadership team could function in a crisis. And I walked into the Pentagon, got into the National Military Command Center and I could hear the president and he was on a phone call. And so uh, they were talking about the situation as it was unfolding and uh, making some decisions. Critical decisions amidst a mood the general recalls as somber but serious. Grounding air traffic across the country, locking down military installations and other high security targets, not to mention trying to figure out who did this and why. And uh, when we saw that, yes, we were, we were uh, shocked. Uh, but I will tell you, we immediately went from a, a, a feeling of that to what do we need to do next? This memorial on Peterson Space Force Base commemorates the September 11th attacks, including that piece of an I-beam from the World Trade Center in New York, but it also has this plaque here that reads in part, from the ashes of the terrorist attack on September 11th, arose Northern Command here to improve our national defense capabilities here in the U.S. and to defend our liberty. And finally, the last line on this plaque reads, appropriately, let us never forget. And so I think it's a recognition that we're vulnerable, that we can be vulnerable. And, uh, and, and I think we've taken that away from 9-11. And some of the actions, some of the organizations we've developed uh, stood up, as I mentioned, U.S. Northern Command, and there are others as well, as well as capabilities that we've uh, built have uh, allowed us to address those types of vulnerabilities. General Dickinson says the most important point to remember as we reflect this weekend there's not been another attack like 9-11 on U.S. soil thanks to the sacrifice made by our men and women in uniform in all volunteer force, some of whom might be struggling right now given the changing circumstances in Afghanistan and who need to be reminded they are not alone. We've lost a lot of people both in the attacks on that day and over 20 years of combat. And I think we always must remember them and the sacrifice that they made to make this country a safer place, really the world a safer place. Great message there. General Dickinson will be one of the keynote speakers at a 9-11 remembrance ceremony on Saturday at Peterson Space Force Base. Joining him will be retired General Ed Eberhardt, the first commander of NORTHCOM after it was established in the wake of 9-11, and the current Northern Command commander, General Glenn Van Herc.